Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. You have Rhino Jr. here from Get Your Drift On. Thank you very much for that great Rhino. You have the El Yucateco hat. Um, El Yucateco is a hot sauce company. I was sent this hat for free, so I can't complain all that much. But I'm curious how long they had this hat before they sent it to me. Because as much as I like it, as much as I like this hat, which does say it is a hardy hat, caps hardy, sorry, caps handy, caps handy, uh, look, look at this, the, uh, hear that, the whole brim of the cap is just so brittle that it's just falling apart, and I haven't had this for very long, I think they sent it to me like a year and a half, maybe two years ago, and it doesn't go outdoors, doesn't go in the wash, doesn't, look at that. Like, it's just, it's completely destroyed. And you know what? That's how we're going to wear it. Yeah, okay, so today we're going to drink a beer. Today's beer is going to be from the Mill Street Seasonal Sampler. This is their Big League IPA. The Big League IPA. So, the Spring Sampler came with the Big Rig IPA. Big Rig, Big League IPA, the uh, Don Valley Bench, and uh, Maple Beer, the Madawaska Maple. So, all that being said, uh, it was a six pack, two of each beer. Much better than getting just two seasonals and then four of the regular stuff. I don't know if, uh, if just for once, Steve and the group knew what to do, or if uh, it had to be bought out by by the bat before they do it like that. Um, originally, they did have one where it was three of each beer, uh, which I think was too much. You just had two seasonals, three of each. Uh, but this is just a nice way to do it. You get a good selection, and if you don't like the beer all that much, you only have one to give away. You can knock on your neighbor's door. Hey, Joe, you want to try this beer? Alrighty, so we're drinking it out of the old speckled hen glass, which is basically just a nothing glass. Lots of carbonation moving in there. That's not actually carbonation stuck to the sides. That's a uh, carbonation rising. Little off-white head, big, big bubbles. Big snap, crackle, pop. Looks good, nice orangey color. Uh, smell. Mmm. What's the ABV on this? I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, ABV is 7. We have a 7% alcohol ABV here. Really kind of smells syrupy. Yeah, just syrupy and uh, that's about it. Let's drink the beer. Cheers. Wow. Wow. More flavor than a lot of uh, recent Mill Street beers. But still mellow enough that almost anybody could go out and drink it. Very syrupy sweetness on the forefront. It isn't like, uh, it isn't really roasted malt as much as like a syrupy sweet malt. Big grapefruit notes, both of skin and flesh. And then a very earthy, dirty uh, background. Not all that bitter, but there is a nice little bitterness. It does linger. 7% ABV, I wouldn't say I'd, I'd guess that. I'd guess around 5 to 6 so it's a beer that can get you drunk. It's a beer that has okay flavors. And it's just a nice beer to try. Uh, overall, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. I actually do not mind this beer. Uh, I don't think it is as good as some of the beers that come out of Mill Street. I don't think it is as good as a lot of beers that come out of the province of Ontario in general. But I think it's a solid beer that anyone could really drink. Um, I did say just a few moments ago 
that I wasn't really getting much alcohol, but with each subsequent sip, a little alcohol burn builds up at the bottom of the throat, right around the choker. But, I mean, that's okay with me, too. Alrighty, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach. Bye.